Welcome back. I'm Bernie Plunkett, right? And you're watching Icebox, the coolest show on the box. Next up, right, we've got a real-life zoologist, yeah? And later, right, we'll check out the zany antics of German techno outfit, Nihilist the Barn. But first, let's take a look at what's hot in the clubs of Frankfurt. Roll clip, and we're out. Uh, two! Oh, jeez, I was holding that the whole time. You could tell, couldn't you? It was fine, but can you stop sweating so much? These lights are killing me. Where's Nigel with my nose spray? Plunk it! Oh, jeez. This show is a shambles. Ratings are through the floor. Kids don't want to watch a washed-up comedian twice their age pretend he's one of them. We need quality content, popular guests, and a decent host. Decent! That's today's ice cool word, which means it's... Time to cool off! That's... It. If this airing isn't flawless, you're out on your ass. But think I'm joking? You, what do you do? Um, junior lighting tech. You're fired. It's an unpaid internship. What about you? Me? Uh, uh, assistant stage manager. Get out. But my 12 All children. All of you, get out. Not you, idiot. Anyone not hosting, producing, or filming this show is fired. And you, one mistake, one cock-up, one slight off-script ad-lib, and you're through. Back in three, two... Uh, welcome back. Well, come on, talk to the guest. And get that fire out, somehow. That curtain's really going up. Do something! Leave George alone and get on with it. Quit screwing around. Get back on set! Let's see what bodacious prizes we have in the icebox... Uh, icebox today. We've got... Icy Girl, the Blizz new single from Freezer. Official Icebox leg warmers. Radical. And a fire extinguisher. That's lucky. Oi, good looking. Go and introduce me to the folks at home. Uh, of course. Can I just... My fuzzy friend's getting antsy. And this vulture's not half heavy. Oh, ho, ho. Ooh, okay. Our first guest today works with all manner of awesome animals. She's as radical as a raccoon and as cool as... Um... A crocodile? A sea cucumber. Welcome to the ice box, Dr. Cockbottom. It's pronounced cockbottom, love. Cockbottom? Cock. Cock. Enough of that. Ask a question. So, Dr. Cockbottom, who's your friend? Call me Fanny, love. And her name's Ivana. Ivana. Ivana, sit on your face. It's Hungarian, I think. Yeah, uh, what kind of bird is she? She's a murder death vulture. Wow, scary man. Wouldn't want to meet one of them when I'm out clubbing. Oh no, she's playful as a kitten. Sure, she'll crack open your skull and burrow that beak of hers into your brainstem given half a chance. But she has such a soft plumage. But, uh, Ivana's quite safe, yeah? Oh, goodness, no. Especially around loud noises and bright lights. Right. Uh, good to hear. But if it comes to it, I can stick her head in a bag. Sends her right to sleep. Bought anything else to show us hip young people? Course, love. A bucket? Bucket of snakes, that's what. Those snakes, right? They're not poisonous, yeah? Only, they don't seem very secure in that bucket. Oh, goodness me, no. Not poisonous at all. Thank Christ. They're venomous. If they were poisonous, they could only hurt you if you ate them. Now, call me old-fashioned, but if I'm going to put something long and slender in my mouth, it's not going to be a snake, if you catch my meaning. <laughs> How about you tell us kids about zoology? 
for a while. You got it. So, I was doing this baboon operation, right? And in walks the hunkiest piece of ass I've ever... Good thinking. While she's waffling a camera, sort out that fire. Keep going, right? It's all very interesting. It's a bucket of snakes, all right? Here goes nothing. What on earth? <laughs> Would you look at that? Novelty fire extinguisher. Fires a hilarious burst of confetti. Warning, contents highly flammable. Ugh, get something else. This is really getting out of control. Really, Reg? No way you'll reach the moose head with the fire raging. Uh-oh. What now? Security's been fired along with everyone else. And some guy just barged onto set. Reginald D. Plunkett? Little busy here, buddy. You're a hard man to get hold of. Yes. Well, Mr. Pittsworth. Bartholomew Pittsworth. I've sent you multiple letters on behalf of your wife. My... my wife? I'm here to serve your divorce papers. Here they are. You need to sign. I'm not leaving until you do. Oh, nice one, Reg. Right. Um, ha <laughs> ha, yes. Great joke there, friend. Hey, all you dudes and dudettes out there. We have a surprise guest. Allow me to introduce, right, the, uh, uh esteemed comic lawyer, Mr. Bartholomew Titsworth. Bartholomew Pittsworth. Oh, touched a nerve there, didn't we? I really wouldn't recommend touching the teetering bucket of deadly snakes. Okay, young adults, let's talk law, right, with our friend here, the lawyer. So, us young people want to know, right, what's hot, yeah, in law right now? Well, ahem, <clears throat> family law, my speciality, certainly is a fascinating topic. This case I'm working on now, for instance, yours, that is, the husband had shared the marital bed with four other women. Uh... And a proboscis monkey. Well... His wife wouldn't have known a thing, of course, if he hadn't filmed the whole escapade and accidentally mailed it to her mother. Could happen to anybody. How'd you like a chance to win big on the Wheel of Cool? Oh, boy! You, yes, you, could... And all Here goes. Congratulations! You've won! A riveting article of statutory document- oh. Okay, young adults, let's talk law, right? With our friend here, the lawyer. What was that name again? Me side to you, Spitzmurf. Bartholomew Pittsworth! What was that name again? McCallin' you kiss first. Bartholomew Pittsworth! What was that name? Your pants, you were Spitzgurf. Bartholomew! Oh, Jesus! That's... a lot of snakes! That really didn't help things. That fire's not getting any better either. Just get the band to play us out. They're backstage waiting. You're on, boys, da. Yeah. Okay. Music, ya. Yeah. yeah. Now, to play us out from the clubs of Frankfurt, Nihilister Bond! Credits in three, two... Halt! You lie. Stop the music! You go. What? No! Nine? Reverse dance?
What's the problem? What is the problem? There is a moose. So, we do not play with moose. And where is our confetti? Quite right, Gunther. We do not play without confetti. Without confetti? It is not art. There's some confetti on the floor over there. That confetti does not excite. Nein. Nein. It must be being held by Gunther. Okay, so get rid of that moose head and get them some confetti. We need them to play us out. Got some. Reminds me of my wedding. Only a lot less weeping. No way you'll reach the moose head with the fire raging. Right. Nile Esteban, on behalf of Icebox, I'd like to present you with this handful of confetti. What is this? Oh, nine. Oh, come on. Why not? This confetti is exposed. Colors visible to all the world? Confetti should be kept hidden in darkness. Such is the way. Just as there is vibrance, as there is love. So the world hides it beneath anguish. Oh. Melancholy. For our art, we need confetti deject in a pouch of black disquiet. Obviously. 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 That hood is not good television. See if you can remove it. Uh, your vulture, right? Seems to have taken flight, yeah? She'll get tired of circling in a few hours. Unless she sees some nearly dead animal to carry off. Yeah, that hood can make a little bag for confetti. Right, Nihilist Bond, on behalf of Icebox, I present you with this confetti, right? Deject, right? In a pouch of black disquiet, yeah? Ah! Just the stuff. Has about another chance to win the major prize on the Wheel of Cool. Oh boy! You, yes you, could be the lucky winner of an all-expenses-paid tour of the Beddington Sewage Farm. Only one prize per contestant, I'm afraid. You'll have to give your previous prize back. Well, okay. Here goes. Congratulations! You've won! An empty bucket of snakes. Oh boy! So, Mr. Lawman, can you explain right to us young adults, right? Article 2, Paragraph 1. In so much as both parties... Parties? How good are parties, right? The parties in this case, Mr. Plunkett, being yourself and your estranged wife. Oof! That's no party I'd want to be at. So, can you... Ex Article 3, Paragraph 4. Termination shall be granted hereby... Your wife is divorcing you, Mr. Plunkett. Do I have to make it any clearer? So, can you explain... Article 5, Paragraph 7, with respect to common decency... It merely states, Mr. Plunkett, that when in the presence of your wife, her parents, co-workers, grandmother and young niece, you, for a change, remain decent. Well, hey, that's our ice-cool word of the day. So it's... Time to cool off! If you think this will get me to leave, sir, you are gravely mistaken. How's about another chance to we Oh! You, yes, you A beautiful, loud, sweet. Courtesy of whoever dumped them in the alley behind my house. Courtesy of whoever dumped them in the alley behind my house. Only one prize per contestant, I'm afraid. You'll have to give your previous prize back. Well, okay. Here goes. Congratulations! You've won... A riveting article of statutory documentation. Oh, boy!
Hey, laddies and lasses, let's do a groovy experiment. We're going to see, right, if our icebox slime is flammable. That's done it. All right, boys, that moose's caboose is too loose, right? And you got right, you can fit it, yeah? Yeah, good. Without further ado, right, give it up for the techno stylings of Nihilist de Barn. Nine. Nine? Nine? I'll give you nine, you colossal kraut wankers. Nine of these right up your bony Teutonic asses. Your blood pressure, Reg. Okay, okay. <laughs> Just a little joke there, kids. My friends here were about to explain what could possibly be wrong now. You know, besides the massive rage in fire, relentless divorce lawyer, and literal circling vulture. Well, there is the snakes. We do not tolerate snakes on the dance floor. Snakes and Germans and dance floors are not making good companions. Snakes with the biting. Snakes with the venoming. Snakes with the slithery dancing. Assurance must be made. Snakes and Germans must not meet on dancing floor. Right! That's actually pretty fair enough. And then I says, I'd like to get in your trunks. <laughs> oh, yes, dearie. Say you were suddenly surrounded by a lot of snakes. Oh, that's an easy one. I use me snake spray. Oh, yeah. I know how to handle me serpents, if you get my meaning. Don't have some handy. Sure, love. Here you go. Yeah, give him a squirt. Should satisfy him. Okay, young people, let's put Dr. Cockbottom's snake repellent to the test. Oh, my eyes! Snake repellent? Why would you want to repel snakes? What? If there's snakes around, I use my spray to get nice and cuddly with them. How do you think I filled my bucket? The serpents are distracted. Acceptable. Now we dance. Quick, sign us off! You've been watching! No! Icebox! The coolers! They hide! So on the box! Oh, I'm Reggie Puckett! Stay in! Stay cool! Mere illusions. Roll credits. You work, you strive, till your supplies of purpose. The pointless. You're born, you die, you don't know why. Conclusion, you don't matter. Meet machines. Programmed to die. Meet machines. No reason why. Inside out, I just wear hoodie. Meat machines. When is rain without wind? Meat machines. There's always a little yeah. Good news! Ratings are through the roof. I just approved five more seasons. Whatever you did, keep doing it. Ha 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 